Hey, I'm Julie. And I'm Meredith. And, and we, we are Dikes, Dikes with Drills. Drills. My name is Corey Houston. I'm Maddie. My name's Natasha Arnold. And I came to Dikes with Drills to get a little more educated and uh, learn some skills about tools and how to use them properly and get creative. I'm from San Francisco and I've been helping run the Dykes with Jules workshop for a little bit. I was a union apprentice carpenter here in San Francisco and I did that for three years. I used to be a wood carving instructor so I detailed uh, woodworking. So today we just completed one of our introduction to tools uh, workshops. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I was actually a participant this time around to get a good feel of what it's like to take our workshops. Yeah. I think I, what I love about these workshops is that it's even an opportunity for me to learn. And so today uh, I got the, the pleasure of having one of my uh, good friends who's actually been a carpenter in the union come. And so there were things that she knew that I didn't even know. So uh, it was a really great opportunity for me to learn and I got to learn new things with the speed square. Um, and uh, I think that's one of the things I love about doing these workshops is that it's about my growth as well as everyone else's growth. At Dykes with Drills, we're uh, huge on inclusivity and we like to offer, open our workshops to anybody who wants to join. And so we actually had a really wide range of ages today, um, you know, from under 18, like 13 year olds, all the way to over 50 year olds come and join us. No, you do not have to be a dyke to come with Dykes with Drills. We do call ourselves Dykes with Drills and uh, we're open to anybody, uh, gender not conforming, trans, allies. Um, pretty much, uh, you know, anybody who is interested in coming. Dykes with Drills does have a focus on creating a safe space for women and queer people in general to learn and to feel comfortable in their skin while also working together as a team. Uh, that does, it doesn't stop there. We are still inclusive of everyone and want uh, everyone to be able to learn more about tools and about working together and about each other through the process. They want people to feel welcome here no matter what gender identity, no matter you know who you are, no matter how good you are at building. Like if you've never held a hammer or any of that before, that should not be a deterrent. Um, this can be from the complete ground up. It doesn't matter how old you are, how young you are, what size you are, you're welcome here. Everybody's really open and it's a really inclusive space that I, I enjoyed. That, that mix of age group all working together and all different levels, um, maybe at other things in their life, and then come to something where they can collaborate together. Yeah, I mean, you might be someone uh, looking toward retirement soon, and then you're working next to someone that's, you know, not even in high school yet. Right, exactly. And, and the communication that can still happen between those two age groups and, and collaboration to work together is still so cool. It's like low pressure, very easygoing, very fun, very playful kind of environment. Um, it's really nice. If you are interested in any way, uh, like learning a new craft, a new skill, it's like super empowering to be self-sufficient when it comes to power tools and knowing how to just put things together. Um, so if you're looking for anything like that, I would recommend coming here. There's space here too for people who already know everything they could know about tools, and about construction. Uh, we do want to provide an opportunity for people to come and take our workshops as a certification course as well. To check in with us, to show us what you have and that you are on the same page uh, with quality and, and uh, safety that we bring to the table. Mm -hmm. And that way you can actually become a Dykes with Drills instructor as well. And that's one of the things we like to offer here in this workshop too, is an opportunity for people to become uh, trainers and become teachers and become part of that, that staff. We have an upcoming project which is a collaboration between the Bay Area Derby and Skate Like a Girl and we're actually helping complete their indoor skate park in Oakland and that's, uh, that's at the end of the month on March 30th the 31st and we're looking for volunteers or skilled builders who want to come and lead a crew of volunteers. We're always looking for volunteers for our workshops either helping us set up and tear down our workshops or coming to some of our larger builds and right now we're looking for volunteers in the Bay Area as well as in the Tucson area of Arizona 
We'll be going out in April to build a couple of homeless transitional shelters. And we'll be doing that in St. David, and we're always looking for people to come out and help. And if you can't come out and help physically, we're always looking for donations. Those really help us with uh, buying materials and making uh, our workshops affordable and accessible uh, to the queer community. I think that it's a really great opportunity to support people that are just trying to make the world a little bit better. I think that any opportunity to build community and to like strip away all those others, we get really good at you know, compartmentalizing ourselves into smaller and smaller groups and then wondering why we're alone. This is a place for anyone, no matter who you are, from what background, to come together and have some kind of commonality. I intend on coming back. I, I had a, a blast and I want to be a part of it even more. Thank you. Thank you.